Hello, you know my name is at the beginning of this video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to plug your PlayStation 4 controller with your PC, preferably Windows 10. This is the only tutorial where I'm showing how to do it on Windows 10. Now there are three things you need. Two are mandatory and one is optional. You must have a PlayStation 4 controller and its wire. And lastly, the optional choice is a USB Bluetooth and make sure the firmware when you buy a USB Bluetooth device is 3.0 or higher. This USB device enables you to use your controller wirelessly instead of using the wire it comes with. Now the next step is you needing a program which is simple, easy, and very safe. This one is called Input Mapper. I'll provide this link in the description. So once you're at this link, just click on download, scroll down until you see I accept the above conditions and download, then go ahead and save it to your desktop. Okay, once you have the setup, just go ahead and install it. We'll install it just like we're about to right now. I agree to the license terms and conditions. Click on install and go ahead and let it install. Okay, you can read this if you like to, if you want to donate. I'm not going to, so I'm going to click on finish. When you have the program ready, you can go ahead and throw away the setup. Plug in your controller. Okay, once you have your controller plugged in, open up Input Mapper. And by default on Windows 10, it should install the Xbox 360, which is the X input controls. Unfortunately, we do not have the interface for PlayStation controls. It has the Xbox controls. So you're going to have to adjust to that. But once Windows installs it, that should be it. And then you can go ahead and configure the controls. But for me, when I play Dishonored and Borderlands 2, I don't need to configure anything. Everything is by default. Okay, if Windows 10 did not install the drivers, I will provide a link in the description for the drivers. So since I didn't run into these problems, I will provide these links in the description. This one's the Xbox 360 controller for Windows. And we have the Xbox One controller drivers which you can download and install as well. Alright, just a quick tip, always have the program open before you play any games so the controls will be enabled. Okay, so now if you guys want to use Bluetooth with your controller wirelessly on your PC, here's how we do it. Unplug your controller and the wire and put in your Bluetooth USB device. Once you have your USB device plugged in, go to your start menu, click on settings and then head on to devices which has the Bluetooth options here. Click on Bluetooth, hit this on. And now let me give you an example. Let me just disconnect it. All right, the next step is to go to your controller, press the home button and the share button at the same time. You should see your own uh, controller flashing at the front. You can let go of the buttons. All right, once your Bluetooth detects it, you should see wireless controller. Click on pair. Your controller light should stop flashing. It's now paired. Open up Input Mapper, and it should load your controller here. And if Input Mapper doesn't detect it as a Bluetooth, just close Input Mapper, restart it, and it should show a Wi-Fi connection icon there. And if you want to turn it off, just click on Disconnect Bluetooth. Your controller should turn off, and it's now not detected. But if you turn it on, it should be detected. I really like this because it gives you an interface at the bottom of your screen. So let's test it out with a few games. Alright, there you have it, and if you do have problems, please comment below. My name is Alan Beginin. Subscribe for more gameplay videos and a few tutorials. Thank you for watching. God bless.